Ball's taken by 14, Joe Sparrow. Breaks a few tackles. Down to about the 34-yard line, where the Indians will take over first and 10. Referee for tonight's game is Larry Griffin. Headlines of Dave Wilbright. The umpire, Mark Lynn. Field judge, Jim Brennan. And the time of tonight's game is Tom Benson. They'll take him bring this offense out. T.J. Del Vecchio, the quarterback. Put the Malone foul signal, the running back. Ball is given the foul signal. Maybe he gains a yard in the play. Call it second and nine. He's back to pass. He's got a little time. He's looking for Rotundo. He's got a man. Ball thrown incomplete. Three second and third and eight. time go with slot formation right to Sparrow in there. So that go back to pass again. Ball thrown. Bill Tinkin. Looks like a catch. So that goes pass is complete. Number 32, Bill Tinkin, short of the first down. North Haven with a fourth and three. Ball thrown is completed. The fourth and three. The 41 yard line. Bad snap. Sproul gets it off, though. Takes a North Haven bounce. To the North Haven roll. Found it about the 16-yard line, where the Trojans will take over first and 10. Joe Sparrow's punch fell 42 yards. 42-yard 42 kick by Sparrow. With a bad snap. Quick handoff, hit immediately by the center of the North Haven line. Oh, by 45, Sammy Bradagunta. Barnes handoff number three. Ron Higgins, he picks up two yards in the play. Line Three second and eight. On their own 18-yard line. Time the Trojans send them in wide right. Quick handoff again. There's flags on the play. Handoff to McCullough. Flags on the play. Penalty is a motion penalty on line of ball. Motion penalty against Lyman Hall. Second and a long 13. Lyman Hall, back to 
the pass. Looking deep. Ball's completed. Stopped Bartash by Bradigunta. Number five, Jeff Bartash. Kevin Champery. Game of 19 yards. Be enough for a first down. First down, Lyman Hall. Quick handoff. Stop by Lenny Malillo. Hand off to Higgins, he picks up four yards from the play. Also, Chris Wheelis on that stop. Second six, Lyman Hall. It's a hand, the quick handoff. Makes a tackle, hit hard though. Hand up on the plate number 13, Dan McCullough. By Danny Hayden. He about third and four. And line of ball is a third and three from their own 39. Lyman Hall again. He's close to a first down. Ball handed off to Higgins. Stopped again by the center of North Haven line. Him out for a measurement. Chosen's just short on that one. Brought a good out of the ball game. The Trojans are going to go for it. It's a quick handoff up the middle. I don't think he got it. It's going to be close. Billy Tink and Steve Bergen in that hit. First down, Lyman Hall. I'll tell you, Bill, it feels like we're in the band tonight. We're so close. Climbing oh, Hall with a first and ten. It's fumble on the play. Looks like Climbing Hall recovered it. Lose about two yards on the play. Second and 12. Flags on the play. Hand off. He breaks it, though. I don't think they're going to catch him. Malolo on his horse. They're going to catch him. Hold everything, though, folks. There's flags. They might be bringing it back. I think so. They're going to bring it back. Yeah, Bill, I saw that flag come up before that play even got started. Five yard penalty makes it to the second and 17 for Lionel Hall, back at their own 32 shot line. Even playing without injured linebacker John Verse alone tonight.
Noble on the play. Looks like North Haven got it. Sorry, recovers Bill Tinkham was on it. The lost line hall does recover. about five yards. Steve Bergen on that tackle. Line Hall's fourth and long yardage. They're going to punt. Indians and Gen go with ball. Signal on a spiral back deep. is up. Takes a North Haven bounce. Right at the 40 yard line. North Haven will take over first and ten. We're going to have to see how North Haven moves the ball on the ground tonight. Of course without uh, fullback John Versalone out with a bum shoulder. Joe Sparrow with the handoff around the end. He's got some room down the sideline. Still on his feet. Stopped after a first down. Nice run, Joe Sparrow. We may be seeing more of him tonight due, due to uh, John Versalone's loss. But there is a flag on the play in the area of holding. And that's what it is. Holding against North Haven. That'll push him back 10 yards. Gonna bring up first and 20. calling the signals. <laughs> Long count. There's moving around the line. To draw the foul signal up the middle. Oh, just tripped up. Had some running room. No flag on the play. That'll bring up the second and 15 for North Haven. Goes for a gain of six yards. Our second and 14, they're on 36. Tossing, they just missed breaking that one. Tundo comes wide to the right, as far wide to the left. Nolulo and foul signal in the backfield. Del Vecchio calling the signals once again. Snap. Hand off up the middle, hit immediately, loose ball, Del Vecchio falls on it. Looks like Sal Signal never had a hold of it. But Del Vecchio recovers. That'll bring up third and long for North Haven. I want to do that now. Third and long yard, it's T.J. back to pass. 
Looking for Rotundo. Overthrown. Not even fourth and sixteen. Sparrow with the kick, long kick. Boss fumbled. North Haven got it. It's like Danny Aiden is going to be first and ten. Big Harry on the recovery. North Haven will take over first and ten. We do have a flag. Appears to be against Lyman Hall. And it is, it'll be declined. North Haven will take over first and ten. Penalty was on Lyman Hall, refused by North Haven. North Haven takes over with a first and ten at the Lyman Hall 27 yard line. Nice break for the Indians right there. Excellent kick by Joe Asparo. Unable, the receiver unable to hold on to the ball. Del Vecchio with the handoff to Asparo. Not too much going to his left. I'll bring up second and ten. No gain on the play. North Haven with a second and ten. The line ball 27. Del Vecchio back to pass. He's looking for a Sparrow overthrown. Del Vecchio's pass is intended for a Sparrow was incomplete. North Haven with a third and ten. That's going to bring up third and long for North Haven. You could expect to see another pass play right here. Sam Perry in with the play for North Haven. And foul signal comes out of the game. This time, Joe Sparrow split wide right. Vecchio yawn off the signals. Quick handoff to Kevin Sam Perry. Could have only short yardage. It's going to bring up fourth down for North Haven. We'll have to see whether they decide to uh, have Mike Shea try for a long field goal or whether they, they punt. That'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. No score. Okay, North Haven fourth and seven, fighting the band here. Big play for the Indians. Delvecchio back to pass. Looks like he's he's got a sparrow. Yes, he does. Play a sparrow. Good hands. It's good for a first down. That's about the 11 yard line. Steve Bergen into the ballgame. Key catch by Joe Sparrow right there, keeping this North Haven drive alive. The only thing, T's showing his arm strength there. He really fired that one. North Haven in tight. 
Quick handoff. It's like Lenny Malolo. Following on about the five yard line. Second and four for the first. Delvecchio is given to Asparo. Gets a few. St. Perry, good run. It's going to be close for a first. And Coach Mel goes with a timeout. Correction, that was a Lyman Hall timeout. North Haven in need of about two feet. The mayor discussing the play with his troop. You have to look for just a strong run. We'll just have to wait and see. Right back to it. North Haven knocking on the door. Stelvecchio. Let him a little touchdown, North Haven. He's going to go up 6 nothing. Mike Shane attempt to point out the touchdown. And a strong run it was, Lenny Malo right up the middle for the touchdown. Excellent drive for North Haven. Twice they succeeded on fourth down conversions. Excellent job by the offense. Mike Shea on for the extra point. is down and it's up and it is good. Don't make the score North Haven seven, Lyman Hall zero. Oh, he's hit hard. Follow oh, foul signal. Kevin Hank also in that has stopped. Hey, relax that foul. He got down to your pocket. I said, relax. He got down there and popped him. You know? Go right. Barnes, the lineman hole quarterback. They have a man split wide right. We can't have up the middle. Stop by Len Malillo. Senior Brady Gunto also went on that. Again, with about a second and eight to 
quick handoff. Looks like Higgins hit hard by Steve Bergen. Hey, tell Bergen did a good job. 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 Tell Bergen Comes up about a yard short. Yeah. Line ball is going to go for it. Ball's given, he picks it up. by the center of that Indian line. We'll give Lime Hall a first down. That's their own 40-yard line. the pass. Oh, he's looking deep. Ball's caught. He's going to go. Touchdown, Lyman Hall. Hey, Hayden was all over him. He just pulled that from Danny Hayden. Good coverage on that play, though. Put a touchdown is up and it's good. 656 left, Lyman Hall 7, North Haven 7. Okay, Lyman Hall set to kick off after that 60 yard touchdown pass. taken at about the 25. Who's that on the return? Dan Hayden on the return for North Haven. Brings it out to the 27 yard line when North Haven will take over first and 10. Rotundo, ball thrown incomplete, it's going to be second and 10. Heavy rush by Lyman Hall. There's flags on the play. Holding <laughs> against Lyman Hall. Five. <laughs> 
Okay, more to slot left. Is that your quick hand off the false signal? Might have gained the yard. Probably just back to the line of scrimmage. Call third and five. Indians about third and five. Ball's given to a sparrow. Loses yardage on the play. Tomato not happy with the results of that play. Reverse to a sparrow on the play. He loses yards in the play, Mark Davis. With a fourth and eight, Joe Sparrow in the kick. Good snap. It's a North Haven bounce, just over midfield. The Trojans will take over. First and ten, about the 49-yard line. First and ten, in good field position at their own 49-yard line. Hand off up the middle, good for about three yards. Hand off number 13, Dan McCullough, who picks up three yards on the play in North Haven territory. Lenny Malou in on that stop. Clock ticking away, four minutes left to go in the half. 7-7 seven, seven tie. A quick handoff once again, stopped immediately. Wrapped up by Keith Ferrara along yeah, with Chris Wheeler. Red Haven holding strong against the run. And in motion to the left, excuse me, the right. Back to pass. He's looking along over the middle. Incomplete. Barnes pass intended for Cipriani, broken up by number 88, Danny Hayden. Danny Hayden on the, on the coverage. That'll bring up a fourth down for Lyman Hall, and we'll be seeing a punt. Good game, a sparrow and foul signal go back deep to North Haven. Bad snap, that's trouble. And he's going to be wrapped up. Keith Ferrara, Chris Wheel is back there. North Haven's going to take over. In great field position at the 40 yard line of Lyman Hall. Good break for North Haven. 312 left to play in the half. Bad snap, the punter unable to control the hop. So here we are. Ezekiel comes to the line. We give up the middle, that's Melillo. Stopped immediately, no gain. 
second and ten. Flag down on the play. Let's see what we got. Holding against North Haven. Push him back ten yards. It's going to give us a first and 20 from the 50. the right. We have Morello and Bubba in the backfield. Del Vecchio with the snap. Takes the handoff. He's in trouble. He's under pressure. Rolls out. Looking down the sidelines in a traffic incomplete. We may have pass interference though on Bill Tinkin. Good job by TJ Del Vecchio getting out of trouble. Looks like it's going to work to North Haven's advantage. That should be defensive pass interference. And it is. <laughs> Interference penalty on line of ball. They're going to spot the ball where it would have been caught. And it'll be an automatic first down. First and 10 from the line of ball, 36 with 226 remaining in the half. Oh, we still have a 7-7 seven, seven ball game, 226 to go, pull the half. Just in flags all over the place for the whole first half. Sparrow spoon wide left. Here we go, Del Vecchio, looking. No flag, it was all over tanking though. He'll be second and ten. Still thinking not a happy man at the moment. Looks like maybe a misrun pattern or, or something. Or a miscue somehow between TJ and, and Tinkin or TJ and Asparo. Slot left. Vecchio straight drop back. Looking for a tundle, but a spar almost came up, but, but the ball's thrown incomplete. It's going to be third and ten. Big play North Haven here. Clock winding down. Salvecchio will gantry under heavy rush. Looking for a foul signal. Ball thrown incomplete. It's going to be fourth and ten. Novecchio slow getting up. Joe Sparrow back to punt. Low snap. Sparrow. Fair catch by Lyman Hall. Right at the 10 yard line. It'll be Lyman Hall first and 10. 26 yard kick. First and 10. Hand off to Higgins. Picks up about three. Lenny Malillo. And that stop. Yeah. 
Another handoff. It's about two or three yards. Billy Tinkin and Keith Ferrara in on that stop. <laughs> Picks a few tackles, finally to, brought down by 24, Paul Juhas. Bobby Melillo also went that hit. It's enough for a first down, though. Timeout, Lyman Hall. That's their second timeout of the half. They have underway after the Lyman Hall timeout. Barnes keeps himself looking long, looking deep. Oh! Right on his receiver. Ball dropped. Timmy Bradagunta on the coverage along with Danny Hayden. Paul U.S. though, limping after that play. Stayed with him nice. An excellent thrown ball by the quarterback, though. Max Joyner into the game, replacing the injured Paul U.S. to have it off the field. Looks like he hurt his ankle. I'm sure he'll be back, though. Ball's pitched out. Flag on the play. Barnes pitch out to McCullough. Game of six and a flag on the play. Knocked out of bounds by Kevin Samperi. Along with Lenny Malillo. Illegal forward pass against Lyman Hall. Barnes with a handoff. Hit immediately. Keith Ferrara. Stop on the play by number 66, Keith Ferrara. For no gain, Lyman Hall with a fourth and 11. Big hit, Keith Ferrara. Under 10 seconds to go. I don't know if the Lyman Hall is going to get it off. And that's the end of tonight's first They don't. Half. This is for Lyman Hall no. 7, North Haven 7. That's what's the end of the first half. And now under the direction of Alan Wallace. Score, Lyman Hall 7, North Haven 7. Getting set to kick off at the start of the third quarter. Barkas, Cipriani, and McCullough, deep to the team for Lyman Hall. 7-7 seven, seven deadlock, tied between North Haven and Lyman Hall. Both teams playing great on both sides, offense and defense. Shea set. off the hands of the receiver. He's going to take it out, though. <laughs> Piled up at about its own 16-yard line. 10 yards, Lyman Hall starts out first and 10 from their own 17. So they bring up first and 10 for Lyman Hall.
the second half with Barnes. He's rolling right. He's got a man. Oh, this flag's on the play. Looks like he's got Higgins all the way down about the 44-yard line, 28-yard gain. Might be bringing it back, folks. Hold everything. And they will. They got Hayden and Asparo on the coverage. It's a quick handoff up the middle. Didn't get much. Bobby Melillo on the stop. Along with Steve Bergen. Third and ten, Lyman Hall. It's their own 20-yard line. Barnes, pitch out. Option play. Oh, he's down the sidelines. He's out of bounds. Picks up the first down. Went out of bounds by Kevin Sam Perry. Got a man, just overthrown. Heck of an effort. Danny Hayden on the coverage. It'll be second and ten. Heavy rush, North Haven, pulled down by Steve Bergen. Bill Tinkin also on that stop. Lost a 12 on the play. Counter, he cuts it back. Kicks up about six yards. Bergen again in on that stop. 
along with the center of that North Haven line. Pick up a nine yard, line of all third and 13. Around 32 yards. Fourth and short yardage. Correct. And the Fourth Trojans two. are going to punt. <laughs> so the spiral fell signal back deep. Heavy rush. He gets it off. Sparrow lets it roll. He's a Lyman Hall bounce. That's about the 38 yard line. The Angels will take over a first and ten. No return by Lyman Hall. North Haven, two tight ends. Savecchio fakes it. Rolling, looks like he's going to keep it himself. Run out of bounds. About the 45 yard line. Indies line it up out of the eye. Delvecchio rolls, throws deep. Incomplete. Tended for Rotundo and broken up by Trojans. And North Haven will be faced with a third down and six from its own 43 yard line. You just play play, I'll just call it. You call it snap right now. Carl Taven with a slot right. Fake hand off Delvecchio is right back. Looks for a foul signal. Ball thrown incomplete. Good play there. He had foul signal open. He threw the ball well. I, I, I you know, he just kind of dropped it. So uh, basically, a uh, fairly easy first down. North Haven now with the fourth and six, probably facing a punting situation here. I think so. It looks like Bubba just turned and the ball was right there. North Haven sends a sparrow in to kick. Good snap. Nice kick. Sails down. Danny Hayden on. It's going to fall inside the five. Fifty-four yard punt by North Haven. And Joey Sparrow got a nice kick off, and he got it. Just got it past the single safety. Lyman Hall coming back with a single safety, and uh, Sparrow got it past him and kicked it down into the corner. It looked like the ball might go out of bounds, and it just sat there and died, and North Haven was there ready to cover it at the Lyman Hall three-yard line, putting the Trojans a very, very precarious position. Billy, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do this every once in a while for a living. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I say, get paid for it. Don't get paid for what's going on for the Trojans back deep in their own territory. Quick handoff hit immediately by the center of the North Haven line. Jimmy Bradagunte in that stop. And off up the middle picks up two more yards. Line of ball with a third and six. up the middle in that particular play and uh, Lyman Hall right now faced with a uh, third and six or seven probably gonna go wide here George is trying to cut it up off tackle and it does not work at all McCullough tries to cut it up inside gets it to about the nine or ten yard line before the inside of the North Haven defensive line stuffs him up and will set up a punt from Billy from from very deep in Lyman Hall territory 
Kicker should be in his end zone. No Taven, the same end back as Spiral and Foul Signal. Indian should have good field position. Jeremiah can't bang it though. Fair catch by North Haven. Sparrow takes it. North Haven will have a first and ten at the Lyman Hall 44-yard line. The Sparrow with the fair catch came back at the last minute to make the play. Uh, Frankie Jeremiah banged the ball pretty well out of the end zone there, especially out of a tight punt formation. But uh, showed, uh, North Haven maybe had a chance to run that back, and Joey maybe being a little bit conservative on that. I think he knew he was going to have good field position. He don't think they want to take any chances. You notice Fasigno and Esparo both call for the fair catch. Short flat for North Haven. Lillian and Fasigno back as they send Esparo in motion. Broken play, there's flags all over the place. And we're, we're going to get an illegal procedure penalty on North Haven on that particular play. Uh, TJ, it looked like a little bit of a broken play there, I think, and TJ did the smart thing, which was to hold on to the ball himself and try to run it up. But uh, I think North Haven is going to be penalized on an illegal procedure penalty for having two men in motion at the same time. Well, the ball declines the penalty. There was a loss of one on the play. There's a loss of one on the play. Lyman Hall opts to decline the penalty. He's going to give North Haven a second and about 11. Go Vecchio. To the line. The snap. Going to his left. He's looking over the middle. That's, that's Bill Tinkin. In traffic, nice pass by TJ Zavecchio. And that time, Delvecchio went across the middle of the sink, and Tinkin came into the middle of traffic and came back and made a very, very nice catch on that play. He came, he came back in to get the ball uh, with, with a whole bunch of people around him. I'll tell you, Tinkin's had sure hands all year for North Haven. Tinkin's always made that big catch, whether it's Amity or you name the game. Indians go to slot left this time. Vecchio barking out the signal. Keeps it himself. Big rush. Ball's completed to Joe Sparrow. Good enough for an Indian first down. Joe Sparrow using every inch of his body to catch that one. That was a great catch by Joey Sparrow. Nice throw by uh, uh, by TJ, but but Joey Sparrow made a very very great diving catch, uh, reaching out to get the ball. Uh, and about two or three yards past the first down marker, and will set up the first down for for North Haven. I tell you, Mr. Levy, Joe, Joe showing his true athletic ability there. Oh, Joey's a player. There's no question about that. You know, when when, when uh, Coach DeMeo talked about changing him from being the quarterback to being a receiver and, and, and being a running back a little bit, said he would all touch the ball as often as possible, and he certainly is. Big rush by Limehoff. TJ eludes it. Throw is incomplete, though. Tender for Billy Tinkin. It's going to be second and ten. That fact, you a big rush that time. Didn't have much time to throw. No, he didn't, but I think TJ had a chance to turn the corner there. If, he, if he'd wanted to, he might have had a chance to run the ball on that particular play. If he just tucked it up and decided he was going to run, he maybe had a chance to gain three or four yards uh, and, and maybe set something up that way. So again, that'll bring second and ten. North Haven again with the slot. Matunda wide right. Quick handoff ball is given to Asparo. He's thrown for a loss. Lamon Hall was in there as soon as Joey got the ball that time. It was, it was a reverse that North Haven tried on that play, and actually, I, I thought that uh, TJ did a very nice job of ball here. I thought he'd handed it, I thought he'd handed it off to, uh, to Falsigno inside uh, for a pretty good gain, and uh, then he turned it around and, and went with the, uh, with the reverse, and Lyman Hall had stayed at home fairly well defensively and had that smelled out. Yeah, that backs North Haven up. Third and long yardage. Savecchio out of the shotgun. Straight back. 
Looking long, he's hit immediately as soon as he's throwing the ball. Fourth and long yard, I'm just sure the Indians will be punting, and they will be. Vecchio very slow getting up. And Charbonneau, number 40, and number 45, Efren Vasquez, were in there uh, fairly quickly on the rush on that. And North Haven right now faced with a, uh, with a fourth down and 20-plus outside of the 40-yard uh, line will almost assuredly punt here. Joe Sparrow in the kick. He's had a good leg all night. I'm not sure what it'll do here. Big rush. Sparrow gets it off. Ball is fumbled. North Haven may have it. Flags again all over the place. Lyman Hall may have the ball. Flag again. I just keep throwing them, folks. The, the late flag was a nonsense call. Uh, the, the, the first flag, I believe, you're gonna you're gonna see a clip on. The second the second flag was a nonsense call. There was no reason to throw it. Uh, they're they're gonna call some sort of an unsportsmanlike conduct thing, which did not happen. Uh, it was a silly call. Both teams now getting a little itchy. Starting to uh, starting to push each other around a little bit more than in the first quarter. A bit of a war going on, Billy. I mean, you know, and, and you know darn well that when you play Lyman Hall in almost anything, that you're going to have a little bit of war on your hands. That's true. We still have a tie score at 7-7, 242 to go in the third quarter. Oh, they called both penalties against Lyman Hall. They, they called both a clip and the personal foul on Lyman Hall. Again, I would not have called the second penalty. I think the, I think the first one sort of came out in front of God and everybody on the outside, but, uh, but the second penalty was kind of a nonsense call, and, and there, was, there was no sense to it because it was, after, it was after the play had happened, and there was a little push and shove go, uh, incident going on, which didn't really count for much of anything. And it's not really going to make a whole lot of difference because all they're going to do is penalize them about seven or eight yards back to, to, uh, to about their own five-yard line anyway. So it's not going to be seven or eight. It might be five yards back to the five-yard line. After the double penalties, it's going to be first and 15. How about the four-yard line? Barnes trips. Barnes is down. Larry, Larry Barnes, when he went down, went down in the end zone, and as soon as his knee touched, the officials went up with the two hands for the safety. Uh, Larry Barnes started to roll it out, and he slipped, and when he did, he went down in the end zone, and as soon as he touches his knee, he's down. As a result, the Indians are going to take a 9-7 lead, and Lyman Hall is going to wind up with a free kick, probably a punt, from the 20 yard line. Like you said, as soon as his knee went down, the ref put his hands right up. He knew as soon as Barnes' knee hit. So he needs to take a 9 7 lead. 2.25 to go. As I said, gentlemen, that could prove to be a very big two points for North Haven. It could very well wind up being the difference in this ball game. Lyman Hall now has to punt the ball or or kick the ball back into North Haven's hands. the ball, which is the normal way you would you would you would do things after a safety, is actually going to kick off. And Lyman Hall has its choice of whether it punts or kicks off. And obviously, Philadelphia doesn't have a heck of a lot of confidence in his punter if he's having a kickoff on the 20 yard line. This should give North Haven excellent field position. North 
say even with the lead now, 9-7. Ryman Hall set the kick off, and they do. It looks like it's going to go. Balsignal's going to take it. He loses. He's on his feet. He's going. Knocked out of bounds in Lyman Hall territory. About the 30... Seven yard line. Two men down on that play. I believe that's Steve Bergen for North Haven. An alignment hall player also hurt. Both of them slow getting up or not getting up. There's going to be a timeout on the field for the injuries. Power eye for North Haven. Send a sparrow in motion. Hand off. It's the foul signal. And he's tripped up. He might have got back to the line of scrimmage. And it's going to be interesting to see what happened here with the with the eight or ten minute layoff uh, as to how it affected people. Uh, North Haven came out reasonably crisp on that play, but uh, at the same time, Lyman Hall came out very solidly defensively. Uh, this is a big series for North Haven because the Indians have the ball in deep in Lyman Hall territory right now and need to score to to uh, take kind of a, an advantage in this ball game. The third quarter winding, winding down. Ball signal. He's got some runner room. He may go, ladies and gentlemen. He may go. I think he's going to go. Touchdown, North Haven. Bubba did break it. Jason Cipriani, number seven, was the last person with a, with a chance to uh, make a hit. And he had it around the 15-yard line. He made a dive, uh, but North Haven ran that dive off tackle and, and got it to the outside, and then Bubba just simply used his speed to outrun people. You give Bubba that first good block. And, uh, He's off to the races. Mike Shant to kick. The score now 15 to 7. And Billy, this is exactly what we're talking about here with somebody getting a chance to take an advantage. And Michael Shea's kick is certainly right down the middle. And uh, North Haven is going to take a uh, 16 to 7 lead. But again, the key was the fact that North Haven came back out of that, that prolonged timeout with the injury and took it right down the field, scored immediately, and now the Indians are putting Lyman Hall into a little bit of a hole. Mike Shane, the kick. North Haven with a 16-7 lead. Like Mr. Levy said, it's an advantage. Not the, Definitely not dominating at any point at this game. And the kick is up. Nice kick by Shea. Breaks a lot of tackles. He's down the sidelines. Knocked out of bounds by Semperi and Shea. Not until he gets down to about the 40-yard line. They'll run 48 yards. Jeff Farkish took the ball around the five-yard line and got it back across midfield and into uh, North Haven territory. And by doing so, basically put Lyman Hall back into a position where it, where it can attack in this ball game. Uh, the safety is going to loom fairly big in terms of, of how people play the game. And right now, North Haven has got to come up with a big defensive stand. Lyman Hall starting. Inside Indian territory. Barn John off the signal. It's a quick handoff. Picks up about six yards. McCullough, the ball carrier. And Danny Hayden, number 88, the first person in on the hit there. Uh, Danny McCullough, who is extremely quick, is one of those people that you do not want to let get a chance to get to the outside because if he does, he's going to break it all the way and there's absolutely nobody going to catch him. Again, with about a second and four. Ball's handed off to Higgins. Might have picked up a yard or two. And that's the end of tonight's third quarter. 
So at the end of the third quarter, North Haven 16, Lyman Hall 7. Third and two yards. They might just bang it right up the middle, and they do. Ball's given to Higgins. It's going to be close. I think he got it, though. Oh, yeah, Ronnell Higgins definitely got the first down there, going off tackle to the right side. Uh, it's inside the, uh, yeah, the 25-yard line, uh, and Higgins just kind of blasted it up in there uh, on the quick hitter. Another quick cut with the middle. He might have broken, but he was brought down. I'm trying to see who made the tackle on that play. Danny McCullough had the nice run up the middle, and uh, it, I thought he might have a chance to break that. And uh, Lenny Melillo, number 35, made the hit that, uh, that kept him from breaking that thing loose. Lyman Hall knocking on the door. They split a guy wide right. Barnes keeps it himself. This flag's on the play. Barnes on the keeper picks up five yards in the first down. But there's been a flag. Uh, Ronnie Higgins wound up with the pitch out on the play, and but there was a flag, and I believe that that's going to go against Lyman Hall. It's either going to be a procedure or a hold. And it'll be interesting to see where it happened. It, it might, as Billy, as you called, it might very well be a holding penalty. Play is called back on the motion penalty. Motion penalty. Motion penalty against Lyman Hall. That's going to back him up. Yeah, give him about a second and eight. You want to look for something probably wide to McCullough here on a pitch out, if or perhaps Barnes throwing the ball. I would guess to go wide to McCullough, though. Number 13, he's the guy to watch. Well, so the McCullough, he's dropped. Well, and Melillo comes in on the coverage. And they tried to try to do a little bit of both. He wound up throwing to McCullough. Uh, and uh, North Haven had that very well covered. North Haven had his double covered out there on the outside. McCullough, I think, looked up, saw the two defensive players there, and decided the best thing to do is to drop the ball. I think so. And he heard Lane Little will come in. and about eight. You're going to see something, you're going to see something similar here. Uh, and right now, Lyman Hall just gets called for an illegal procedure penalty because Lyman Hall had about 18 people in motion on that play. And it's going to cost the Trojans five yards. But you, again, are going to look for Danny McCullough, who is the fastest person on the field to get the football somehow. Uh, whether it's on a pitch out or a short pass, uh, he's the person that I think the Trojans want to have the ball. It's going to back Lyman Hall up almost to about the 30 yard line. Barnes, he's straight back. He's looking for a man. He's got him. And he has Robbie Fay. Robbie Fay across the middle, who was the, the possession receiver for Lyman Hall. No, it wasn't. It was Jeff Farkash. Uh, uh, Fay number four, uh, Jeff Farkash number five. Jeff Farkash was the guy who made the catch on that. Generally, he would throw to Fay in that particular position, but uh, Jeff Farkash made a nice catch and gives Lyman Hall a first down inside the uh, North Haven 15 down around the 12 yard line. Kevin Samperi and Sam Badagunta on that stop. Key series for Lyman Hall here. They bang it right up the middle. 
stays on his feet, and he gets into the end zone. Ronnell Higgins was the uh, man who carried the ball that time, and once he got past the initial hit, he got it into the secondary and carried it into the end zone for the touchdown, and now it is a 16-13 ball game, and it'll be interesting to see what uh, well, Lyman Hall apparently is going to line up for the one-point conversion here on, on the kick, which makes a certain amount of sense because uh, you're still within two. Bad snap. Kick is good though. 9.56 to go in the game. North Haven 16, Lyman Hall 14. 50 uh, to go here in the fourth quarter. And Lyman Hall is going to be kicking off. Right now, what North Haven needs to do is to either put a score on the scoreboard or to at least take a lot of time off the clock. So uh, Jeremiah has the ability to kick the ball fairly deep, which he's done right here back down to the 10 yard line. North Haven will take over first and ten. No 27 yard line. What North Haven needs to do here is, is to mount a fairly good drive. Uh, if the Indians score, wonderful. If they don't, at least run some time off the clock and make it a little bit more difficult for Lyman Hall to come back. Uh, this is something that right now that North Haven has to has to use a little bit of the ground attack and mix it up with a little bit of passing. But basically, try to keep the ball on the ground. And this is where you're going to see Bubba come through. Seeing the whistle of the Indian rushing attack. Their own 27 yard line. Flags on the play. North Davis is going to get nailed for a legal procedure on this, uh, on this play because uh, the Indians just simply were not set for the full second. Uh, and no, they're calling Lyman Hall for offside. So this is. <laughs> I, I did not see that at all. I, I saw North Haven not set, but uh, if they're going to call Lyman Hall for offside, the uh, the Indians get an easy five, and I think that your the play that you just called right there is is going to happen again, where where uh, Phil Signal may may run that tackle trap. Now the end is only a first and five, to make things a little bit easier. I think they might go to Phil Signal here again. They don't. Right to Lenny Malillo. He bangs his way for a few yards. Again, that's what you have to do in that particular situation. Just keep the ball on the ground, use the safe handoff, and just bang it out and get the first down. Oh, oh David did catch a break on, on that uh, penalty situation. Now the Indians have basically have two downs to make a couple three yards. Ball given to Joe Asparo. Looks like there might have been a face mask on that play. No flag though. I saw that. Looked like definite face mask. Well, as long as there's no flag, the officials didn't see it. So, uh, I, and I, I might go along your way. I thought I thought that he might have gotten pulled forward by the face mask a little bit too. But uh, if the officials are not going to call it, then uh, they're just going to call for the measurement, and he is going to have the first down by about the nose of the football. First down for North David. First and ten from the third yard line. Now we sit with about 8.50 to go in the ball game, so time's starting to become a factor. North Haven needs about three or four more first downs or a touchdown to make time a real definite factor in the game. North Haven in tight again. The Vecchio ball's given the foul signal. Hit hard, might have picked up a yard. David Charbonneau, number 40, one of the people in there on the uh, on the hit on that play. Well, Lemon Hall had two, three people there. Charbonneau, Higgins, a couple of other people uh, in making the tackle on that. And if North Haven is going to run the ball, I think the Indians probably have to come with something that hits a little bit quicker. 
you think? Is uh, Coach Jamal might go to a little pass here? M might mix it up a little bit? Or you think primarily on the ground? I think on the ground. I think he goes on the ground, but I think he just has to hit it a little bit more quickly. Now we're going to go delay of game on North Haven. The Indians are going are gonna to lose five yards on the delay of game. I thought that was a little bit quick on that call, um, but uh, it is going to set up for North Haven a second and no 13, 14 yards. And now at this point, you might see the Indians go to the pass uh, instead, instead of going to the running play. Seven fifty left to go here, and and North Haven just trying to cling kind of precariously to a two point lead. Now they go on the on the quick opener. El Signo is going to get maybe a yard, maybe a yard and a half, and that's about the extent of it. Again, Charbonneau number forty, one of the uh, last people getting up off the bottom of the pile for Lyman Hall, and this will set up a third down and twelve play for North Haven. And here you think that maybe they try to find a Sparrow on a pass play. I would think so. That Joe might be the primary receiver on this here. The Indians do send a Sparrow split wide to the left. He's going to come out wide this way. He's got single, maybe one and a half man coverage now. Uh, and now TJ's looking, the spiral's open, and he overthrows him. And he was short of the first down anyway, so it was not it would not have made that much difference even if he had caught it, but TJ overthrew him a little bit on that play. Billy, this is you know this is this is where he has to get a real good punt off. Uh, he's got he's got to get a little bit of protection here, and then he's got to try to bang the ball. Lyman Hall doing something that I don't particularly care for, which is to send the single safety back. Uh, the Trojans are going to try to rush this. It's a bad snap, but he gets it away. Now, if he kicks it away from the safety, or well, in this case, it, in this case, it turns out well for Lyman Hall. But it's just uh, to my way of thinking, you want twin safeties back because you want two guys talking to each other, and you want a situation where he can't kick it away from somebody. Uh, it turned out to work out well for Lyman Hall on that play, though. So one of seven minutes to go. Lime Hall's going to take over in their own territory about the 42-yard line. You're under seven minutes with about 6.45 to go right now. And uh, Lyman Hall has to mount a drive right now if he wants to get back in the ballgame. Barnes, Scott Higgins. Tripped up by Danny Hayden. And if Danny Hayden doesn't make that play, that's another 15 to 18 yards before anybody gets to him. Uh, nice pass by Barnes on that play. He got the quick, he got the roll and the quick throw. I'll tell you, Jim, North Haven has to worry about North uh, Lyman Hall getting into the end zone here because time is running out, and if uh, Lyman Hall should score, North Haven's not going to have too much time to bring the ball back up the field. I think it's a critical for the Indian defense here. And Barnes on the keeper on that play. He faked the Higgins inside and then carried the ball himself on the outside. And Larry Barnes is a very, very dangerous runner. Uh, and he runs that option play very, very well, especially for a kid who's a junior in high school. I mean, you, know, you stop and think that this kid's got another year of high school left. He's going to be a very dangerous quarterback next year. Lenny Malillo went down on that play for the second or third time tonight, and he's coming out of the lineup. It looks like leg cramps, but it's, uh, you know, you, you sort of hope that that's all it is and that he'll be okay. Keep him right up the middle. Nice play. Bobby Malillo on that stuff. Nice tackle. Lyman Hall with a third and two from the North Haven 37. It's going to be third and short yardage. 
It's going to be enough for a first down ball given to Higgins. And Lemon Hall moving the ball downfield reasonably smartly on that particular situation. And again, Barnes got into the situation where he, where he was able to, to come down on the option, read the play fairly quickly, and, and, and get it into the seam. Uh, and another North Haven player injured. Uh, Looks like Lenny Malillo again. If it is, then, then he came back in on the last play, and if so, I, I would think that he's, at this point, he's got to be sitting down probably for the, pretty much the remainder of the ball game, uh, just, just with some cramps or exhaustion, whatever he has, uh, that he's probably not ready to play for too much longer. Wait again, Lime Hall got a first and ten. Barnes keeps it himself. Oh, he's got it. He might go. I think he's going to get in. Touchdown, Lyman Hall. He scampered all the way, 32 yards. And a nice play by Larry Barnes because he faked inside to Higgins. He froze a couple of people. Two people made the stop on Higgins. And all of a sudden, Barnes kept the ball, pulled it back out, ran to the outside. And uh, 4.53 to go in the ball game. Larry Barnes takes the 32 yards for the touchdown to put Lyman Hall into the lead. Now Frankie Jeremiah will try to add the PAT. I believe that uh, the timeout was called to discuss Lyman Hall. Uh, probably going to be going for the two-point conversion. Uh, one extra point would probably not be that significant in the outcome of the game. And it looks like they will be setting up to go for the two-point conversion. And he gets in. So only five minutes to go. Lyman Hall takes the lead for the first time. 22 to 16. Interesting to see if Jeremiah banks it deep here, if he tries to squib kick the ball a little bit, just to, to keep it away from the possibility that a spiral might run it back long. This will be taken by Danny Hayden, number 88. And, and he went down. The referee says that Danny Hayden's knee touched down at about the 12-yard line. Uh, he had a chance to maybe run it back a little ways, but he slipped while he was catching the ball. And it's going to be around the 12, 13-yard line uh, where North David is going to have to take over, which means the Indians have 88 yards to go to get back into this ball game. set of offensive downs. Sparrow in motion. Salvecchio scrambling. Looking for, looks like 32, Billy Tinkin. And he had Tinkin open. He overthrew him by maybe a half a step. Uh, DJ definitely adjusted that play at the line of scrimmage. Uh, saw what he was doing, knew exactly what was going on. And as he did against the Amity, where he, where he called some audibles that worked very, very well, uh, he did a good job there. He just overthrew the ball by maybe half a step to uh, Billy Tinkin because he had about a 20-yard gainer if he, if he hit him. Split on both ends. Salvecchio, straight drop back. Looking for a tunnel ball thrown incomplete. The play coming up here is the most important single play that North David has had all year because if the Indians can keep this thing going, they still are in a situation where they have a shot to go to the Class M playoff. If they don't, they won't, and it's that simple. North Haven has got to score here and win this ball game, and if that happens, North Haven has a chance to go to the playoffs. If not, North Haven probably does not have too much of a chance to do it. This is the play of the season. It's going to be the same setup. It's going to be Dalvecchio back to pass. He pumps. Ball's intercepted. 
inside the five, looking for Lou Rotundo. And Larry Barnes took the throw, which is maybe about a half step on the throne. Larry Barnes got back on the plus, and when he made the interception, he gets back down to inside the North Haven five, and uh, I think uh, it kind of has turned the tide of the ball game. So Lyman Hall is going to have first and goal. 349 to play in the game. Clock running. Ball's getting right to Higgins. He stopped. Does not get in. This flag on the play. We have a personal foul, which I have a tendency to think is going to go against Lyman Hall, but I believe there's going to be a personal foul call on the play. It's going to be interesting to see which way the officials call this. No, they call it against North Haven. And what they were doing was taking a Lyman Hall kid away, but they, but they called the personal foul on North Haven. Half distance to the goal. Second and goal, line in the hall. Ball given right to Higgins. Touchdown, line in the hall. to go and this this ball game appears to be uh, in very much swinging into Lyman Hall's favor Jeremiah will go for the uh, PAT at this point with a 28-16 lead uh, yeah, I, I might even think about going for two here Lyman Hall takes a timeout Lyman Hall going for two Ball's deflected. This could be incomplete. So the two-point conversion fails. Under four minutes to go. Lyman Hall 28, North Haven 16. Lyman Hall set the kick off. by Max Joyner. I think that's about the 30-yard line. They know it's at first and 10. Time be, uh, being a big factor for North Haven now. He's sitting here with about three minutes, just a little bit over three minutes to go. North Haven has got to score extremely quickly right here. You almost... Uh, at this point, seeing as how North Haven opened it up and threw a little bit last time, you, you, you definitely look for the Indians to throw the ball here. Uh, probably trying to go deep and, and trying to get it to somebody quick. So that you are the shotgun. There's flags on the play. Might be motion against North Haven. If it was, it might have been a lineman picking up too quick, and that's exactly what they're calling there. They're, they're saying that uh, North Haven had the illegal procedure. Uh, uh, probably somebody picked up a half count too quick in terms of in terms of one of the linemen trying to block on the plot. Basically, all it does is just make it a little bit harder because you got to throw it five yards further. Uh, now North Haven still has the same task. He needs to have to score twice in three minutes. Ricky will get out of the shotgun. High snap. Stays with it. 
Looking for a tunnel, ball thrown incomplete. Second and long yardage. And Danny McCullough, number 13, got a hand on the ball to knock it down. Uh, but DJ's just see, you know, he's sitting back there. People are going to see you off on him, and, and they're going to be looking for for any chance to uh, to pick up the ball defensively. And he has got a read pattern as well, and he's got to throw the ball to open spots, and he's got to do it fairly quickly. Not a very, very easy thing to do at all. I mean, you know, he's in a very tough there because everybody knows what he's going to do, and he's just got to get it done. Thank you again, straight drop back, heavy rush. Had a ton to win a spar, both in the same area. Ball thrown short, a third and 15. And there he got blitzed a little bit. Uh, a number 30 from Lyman Hall, whose name I will look up just for posterity's sake here. Uh, uh, it's Eddie Nylander, uh, came blitzing through for a linebacker spot and and made it very difficult for him to have any kind of time. That time he was up under center rather than being back in the shotgun. He had to drop back, and, and Nylander was chasing him the entire way. So again, the ball's handed off the foul signal. He's got a little running room. Stays on his feet. Knocked down about the 37-yard line. So three yards short of the first down. Fourth and short yardage. Interesting play with 2 0 to go. Now North Haven sitting in the situation where obviously the Indians have to go for it. They're fourth and uh, about two and a half to three yards. Uh, but with less than two minutes to go, North Haven has got to score twice, and this is not going to make it any easier when you're running the football here. But now with the fourth down, it's uh, with the power eye. North Haven goes for the first down, and I do I don't believe he got it. I, I believe the foul signal is going to come up short because of where I don't think he got it. I don't think he got the first down. Oh, and that was a horrible spot in addition. He lost a yard and a half on the spot, which didn't even make it close. Uh, the, the referee definitely shortchanged North Haven badly on the spot, but at least it... it it, you know, it would have been a little close the other way. Lyman Hall will take over here, and this, ba this game is history at this point. First and ten. They just give it to Higgins. And off to Higgins on the play and picks up three yards. Stop by Tinkin. He picked up about three yards. And you're running under a minute to play here, and at this point, Lyman Hall is going to start to play. I fall down, and this game will basically be over. One week from tonight, Friday, October 28th. The Trojans return to the Play well, though. Play well. See Lyman Hall mount their comeback. Lyman Hall did a heck of a job. You know, Larry Barnes did, certainly did a great job as, as far as running that option and, and getting things done as the quarterback. Uh, and I think that, that you would have to consider Larry Barnes to be the key to the ball game. Then he comes up with a big interception in addition to you know to, to set up the touchdown that, that that put it away but just just the way he ran the option and the, and the way he set things up and then and then ran the touchdown himself uh, he would he would be my pick certainly in the second half as the MVP in this ball game Billy thank you it was fun to come up here and see you guys and do this well thank you Mr. Levy I appreciate you coming up here against Lyman Hall. Five seconds to play in the game. Five seconds left in the 